Hi there. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to factorise, that means put back into brackets, quadratic expressions where the number in front of the x squared term, the coefficient of the x squared term, is some number other than 1. In the examples, I've got 2, 3 and 12. Usually this makes factorising slightly more complicated, but I've got an easy method to show you how to work out the factorised expressions. And it goes like this. Step 1. Coefficient of x squared term is 2. You multiply that by the number term. In this case, you would therefore do 2 times 4, which would give you 8. Step 2. Ask yourself a question. What two numbers can you think of that multiply to give you this number 8 that you thought of, but at the same time add up to give you the number in front of the x, which is 9, positive 9 in this case? With a little thought, 8 and 1 should crop to mind, should come to mind. Why? Well, 8 times 1 is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9. What you then do is, you because you've got a 2x squared term here, I'm going to say simply, open up a pair of brackets, and don't stick in 2x squared as the first term, stick in 2x as the first term, in both brackets. And then, you've got your numbers 8 and 1, Pop in an A into one of the brackets and a plus one into the other. Does order matter? Order doesn't matter. You, the eight could go here and the one could go here and vice versa. Lastly, you've got to ask yourself this question. Can you simplify or cancel down any of the expressions in the brackets? Nothing other than one goes into 2x and one, so leave it alone. Whereas two, the number two, goes into 2x and eight. Divide this expression by two and write down what you're left with, which is x plus 4, 2x plus 1. Let's just check that indeed is the factorised version. Well, x times 2x, square, 2x is 2x squared. x times the 1 gives you x. 4 times the 2x gives you 8x. And 4 times the 1 gives you 4. Collecting like terms, 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 which is exactly like our original expression, hence this is the factorised version. Let's continue using this method to solve these slightly too harder examples where negatives arise. Step 1. The number in front of the x squared, the coefficient of x squared, multiply it by the number term, which is negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Step 2. Ask yourself this question. Can you think of two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to the number in front of the x term, which is negative 1? Remember, minus x actually means minus 1x. With a little thought, you'll think to yourself minus 3 and positive 2 do the trick. Because minus 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Because you've got a 3x squared, open up two brackets. Don't put 3x squared in, put a 3x, put a 3x, stick in the minus 3 here, stick in the plus 2 here, say. Ask yourself, is there anything I can cancel in this bracket? No, nothing other than 1 goes into 3x and 2. Here, 3 goes into 3x and 3, so divide it out and write what you're left with after that division. So you'd be left with x minus 1, 3x plus 2, the factorised version. Last one, step one, 12 times 2 is 24. Question, you ask yourself, what times to give 24 and adds up to give negative 11? With a little thought, minus 8 and minus 3 do the trick. Because you've got a 12x squared, write a 12x and a 12x. Stick in the minus 8, stick in the minus 3. Ask yourself, is there anything you can cancel in both brackets? Well, here, what goes into 12x and 8? Well, 4 does. Divide both bits by 4 and write what you're left with, namely 3x minus 2. What goes into 12x and 3? Well, 3 does. Divide out the 3 and write what you're left with, 4x minus 1. And your factorised version is easily found again. Thank you.